Be Cool program is out of Pensacola, Florida. Um, I'm just going to give you a 30 second background on why it exists instead of the 20 minute background on why it exists. Basically what happened is Congress told the Department of Labor and Department of Defense to put their heads together and figure out why people were leaving the service and not getting jobs in the private sector. So of course they did a study, and that study's about this thick, and they went through that and they found out a few causal factor, factors. One of those is that people leaving the service didn't know how to translate their skills into civilian types of skills. Conversely, the employers that were trying to employ those people did not know what that skill set was and how it would benefit them in their businesses. And the last thing is, sailors didn't know what credentials they needed in order to assume those jobs. So Navy Cool came about and it's a two-part thing. One is that it professionalizes the workforce, so it will professionalize you while you're in the Navy and it will also help you when you go to Life 2.0, when you eventually leave the Navy. How many people here are gonna leave the Navy? Every hand should be up. Everybody's going to eventually leave the Navy, but while you're in the Navy, you need to professionalize yourself, and this tool will go ahead and help you. So it's on a... ...through Navy Corps. Cool. no logon, no password. You can go ahead and access this site from home, from anywhere in the world, publicly accessible. Okay, that was our whole idea. Um, if you go ahead and uh, take a look at this, um, the first one, which we'll go ahead and go over in just a moment, is going to be finding and selecting a credential itself. And then once you've figured that out, then you'll go ahead and move on and do a voucher request form. Then you'll go ahead and take the exam and then report your results. And I'll get into that in just a second. So basically, if you go ahead and uh, you can search by rating, every single rating is listed on Navy Cool. There's a pull down menu there, and all of them are listed. down menu and see which one aligns to what you're doing because we've done credentials for those also. So what we're going to do Navy Cool is the navigation of it is the same for every rating page. So all the different details are in the exact same location on the page. Everybody with me on that for the navigation piece? So it's gonna go ahead and list what the interior communications electrician does. It's also gonna have a rating card there that's used in recruiting, but it also has your ladder available there. And that's that competency model that Tom was speaking of to get from E1 to E9 and all those things you need to do in between. So if you scroll down a little bit further, there's 11 credentials that people can get right after A school, okay? So first term success right here, right after A school, you can get some certifications. So we have national certifications, we have state licensure. How many people here have heard of US MAP? Okay, how many people have actually participated in US MAP? Excellent. My suggestion to you is if you To, to some of those. Now, in this section right here, you can see that you can go ahead and filter on some of these certifications. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter for somebody that's been in the Navy at least one year, but less than four years, which would pro probably be most of this crowd right here. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then if you scroll down, it'll give you those certifications, and it'll list them there. And <clears throat> on there, there's some icons. 
What do you think the most important icon on that page is? That Navy dollar sign icon. That means a couple of things. One, it means that we're going to go ahead and pay for your certification exam. A schools and C schools, and we have uh, done the crosswalk and mapped it to the requirements on that certification exam. And if it mapped 80% or more, we decided we would go ahead and fund it. So that's what that indicates right there. Okay? How many people here have used TA? And commonality, that Navy Bucks icon is there. If you end up taking the exam that we have funded for you and you do not pass that exam, you do not have to pay the money back. I repeat, you do not have to pay the money back. However, there's always a however. We will not fund that same exam a second time. You'll have to find another funding stream in order to take that exam a second time, with the exception of the cybersecurity workforce because they're mandated so they get three attempts. Uh, a couple other icons on there. Um, let's say you're an I seaman and you want to do the Associate Electronics Technician, the CTA or CETA. So you go ahead and click on that. What it's going to do is going to bring up a snapshot page. What we've done is we've gone to the agency's website. And instead of having the sailor try and drill down through six, seven layers of information, we've captured all that and put it on this snapshot page. So on here, you've got a summary, which says you need two years of experience for this particular certification. You're going to have to take an ex a written exam. And then there's also some continuing education and recertification stuff. By the way, once you earn a certification, the Navy wants you to keep that. So we will pay for the recertification fees also. Okay, because the Navy wants you to keep it through the whole continuum of your Navy career. Then we also have training versus exam. So here we have listed what the topics are on the exam and some of the schooling that you may have gone to. And in this particular case, for the IC men, if they went to ICA school, they are fully prepared to go ahead and take this certification exam because it covers every single one of the topic areas. Okay, everybody with me on that? Okay. Now, as I mentioned before, you have that 80% commonality. So what do you do about the other 20%? Well, we have some electronic versions of some study materials, uh, sample questions, sample tests, things like that. You can go ahead and click on that and get that other 20%. How many people here have heard of Safari Books Online? Anybody? A couple people? Okay, that's another resource, and we put a link on there for that. That's a, uh, a, a system that you can go ahead with a .mil email address, and you can get a free uh, account with them and download material and things like that for studying. on the rating page is exactly the same on all the pages for all the ratings. If you go towards the bottom of it, how many people here took the exam today? You had to use a bibliography for advancement in order to study for it, right? Or you should have. Bibliographies for advancement are now going to be available on Navy Cool. Okay, it's at the bottom of the page. You click on it, it's got E4, E5, E6, E7 right on there. So if you're thinking about taking a certification exam, when do you think the best time to take the cer uh, certification exam would be? Right after you took the Navy-wide exam. All that stuff's fresh in your head. You're ready to go. Okay, so that would be a really opportune time to take a look at this and select a particular certification and go ahead and, and, and do that. Okay, um, another adjustment that we also made with Navy Cool is
for pursuing a college degree. But certifications that are associated and I have, say, an IT degree, then I can go ahead and get certifications on the IT rating page also. Everybody with me on that one? Good choice there, right? Okay, so there's a contact button on the, on the home page. Or uh, central time, uh, usually seven to four, and so you can go ahead and uh, talk to somebody that can actually guide you through the whole process. Once you've decided what you want to do, then you go to step two, download a voucher request, fill out parts one through five, have an E7 or above in your chain of command. So the main question that, that I'd like to stress here is, why do it? How many people here went to A school? What'd you get when you graduated from A school? You got a certificate. What does that certificate mean to somebody both in and out of the Navy? It means that you went through training, that you sat through a class and got through training. Okay, those people, I asked the question before, how many people here have a degree or are pursuing a degree? What does that degree tell somebody both in and out of the Navy about you? Committed to something? That you have the ability to learn, okay? So what does a certification tell somebody both in and out of the Navy about you? That you could do the job? It shows that you have the proficiency and competency at an industry-recognized standard to do that job, at an industry-recognized standard. So you can walk into a job and they know exactly what they're getting. Okay, so the whole point behind a lot of these resources and stuff is you have world-class training from the Navy, you're pursuing the, the college and the education piece, you do the US map to show your work experience, and then you round it out with a certification so that you have that whole meld to professionalize yourself while you're on active duty and when you make that transition to life 2.0. So that's really what we want to impress upon you. So we have a booth in the back there if you want to go ahead and talk to us later and, and feel free to do the chat and get a hold of us and we'll help you out with it. Thank you very much.